Hello and welcome to Eat3D's Unreal Kismet, an introduction and application video training. What we're going to be showing you how to do is come into a level that is already set up and we're going to show you how to start interacting with objects using Kismet to modify actors at runtime and be able to set up different interactions. As you can see, we're going to be able to take light objects that are using dynamic light and be able to shoot those with the weapon, cause damage to them, and turn them off. So you'll be able to set up damage states like that, which can be used on many different types of applications. Also, we have this doorway here that has got these wood boards blocking it. We're going to show you how to set these up as physics actors that are also taking damage. And so you can set up a threshold of damage, and when that much damage is caused, the boards will fall down off the doorway in a realistic manner because they're running through a physics simulation. Let's see, we can still shoot those around. And you also notice that the doorway opened up, and we're going to show you how to do moving objects like that using the matinee tool in Kismet. And as we come through here, you're going to see that the dramatic character reveal through the shadow on the wall. We're going to show you how to set all of that up using matinee as well to key off the events, such as the door opening to reveal the light on the wall, which casts a shadow and also to take the skeletal mesh character and be able to play animations on him, such as the idle animation you see now, as well as the taunt animation when we came around the corner. And then to kind of top that all off, we're going to kind of encapsulate all of these different interactions that we set up in a camera fly through. And we're going to show you how to do the camera fly through in a way that will be able to show off the level that you're working on, show off your work for your portfolio. And also it will allow us to teach a few more things about the matinee tool, such as uh, keying off events from the timeline. And so we can actually simulate the fly through to cause some of the same interactions that the player can cause. 